Hello, friends, and welcome to Tabletop Tonight. My name is Ruel Gaviola. This is my co-host, my wife, Michelle. Hello. Uh, we're happy to be here tonight. Um, anything happened in the news lately? <laughs> <laughs> it has been an uh, interesting uh, day, friends. Uh, I want to thank Amanda Panda for um, joining us. She is our chat moderator. Hello, Slackfish. Thanks for hanging out. Deadpan, we see you. Thank you. Um, I always want to say hi to Nightbot, but, you know, hi, Nightbot. <laughs> Don't leave Nightbot out. <laughs> yeah, Nightbot is a regular, as always. Um, we took yesterday off, of course. Um, I actually planned on taking yesterday off from uh, our channel because we were going to get together with Tim from Meepleville and a bunch of other content creators. But because of the events of yesterday, um, the attempted coup on our uh, nation's capital, we had to cancel. Um, and it was, a, it was a long day yesterday. Um, I remember I was here in the office working, and I had no idea what was going on, and Michelle came in, she was working in the other office, and, you know, she, she told me what was up, I jumped on the news, and I just pretty much just doom-scrolled the entire day, and just, yeah, it is, it, it, it was a, a crazy day. Um, both of us were pretty much affected by it, um, but, you know, there's always tomorrow, and uh, we had a good night's sleep, uh, we ate, ate well. Um, Michelle, I want to thank you for the very delicious pork chops. Thank you. <laughs> uh, um, and we also, um, you know, check on Lauren. Lauren's doing okay, and um, hopefully you are too. Um, this is, uh, I mean, how many times have we said this over the last four years? These are unprecedented times, you know, and... Um, what are we on, 14 more days? Less 14? than 14 days, yeah, but um, we will see uh, what happens. Um, yeah, deadpan, mm -hmm. uh, slackfish... Friends, again, thank you so much. We made a change at the last minute. Um, <clears throat> we had originally uh, planned on playing um, Rivals of Catan. And uh, it's on me. I just um, d didn't get everything prepared in time. So we're going to go with another fantastic game. Uh, from This time from uh, Pencil First Games, Sunwater, Sunset Over Water. Um, it's a beautiful game. And I, I just felt like... It was one of those things where, you know... need a little of that today. <laughs> yeah, right? Thank you. It was just, you know, hey, we're just going to chill, play this lovely little card game, and it's a good game, too. Um, we This will be our first time playing together, uh, but I love Pencil First. Uh, they do they did Herbaceous, done this one, they've done the 100 Tory, a couple other games, too, so uh, it's going to be a fun one. Uh, let's see. Uh, AJ Gamers in the house. Hi, AJ. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you in here. Um... Yeah, we're, we're just hanging. Oh, hey, we got a new follower. Kev Meeple One. Thank you for following, Kev. What happens here on our channel, we do analog alerts, and we want to bring out Felicia the Follow Fish. Felicia always hangs out whenever a new follower shows up, and she swims around, says hello, and then she takes off. And we all say, including in chat, bye, bye Felicia. Felicia. And Michelle's got a round of applause for you. Oh, I got a round of applause. <laughs> Thanks for following, Kev Meeple. Much appreciated, friend. There's all the bye Felicia's in chat. Always nice to see. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Um, we got uh, Chewy. Oh, yeah, we saw Chewy uh, the other day. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> Thanks again to uh, Amanda for the Chewy. Oh, hey, Kevin Meeple, thank you for the props on the shirt. Yeah, uh, Asians for Black Lives. Um, check out that website, folks. Uh, this is uh, a gift from our daughter, Lauren. Uh, she was... You got the tank top, Tank top, right? yeah. Yeah. I should yeah. put on my tank top. Yeah. But um, anyways, very, very uh, nice of you to say, uh, Kev. Appreciate it. And um, how, are you, how are you doing, babe? Everything uh, okay? I know you were busy with meetings today. And... Yeah. Well, today, because, <laughs> yeah, I walked Bruno this afternoon. It was just a nice afternoon. And, you know, as I came back, one of the neighborhood kids, um, you know, told me that they had started school this past Monday. And I was like, oh, and they know I'm a teacher. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, oh, well, I don't start until next Monday. And, you know, we we're chit-chatting. The dogs were playing. And um, then she goes, well, you know, I said, oh, well, I got to go. I got some work to take care of. And she goes, but school doesn't start until Monday for you. I'm like, oh, honey, all the planning that has to go on <laughs> before that. Y'all just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you were teaching the neighborhood kids about teaching. I, yes, I was teaching about <laughs> teaching. Nice. So when uh, they so they start next week? No, they started already. Oh, they started already. Monday this week. Got it. I was wondering, like, it's seemed like pretty quiet the last couple of days <laughs> in the neighborhood. I know. I mean, it's it's actually kind of a joy to hear the kids, you know, running around outside. Yeah. You know, yeah. and playing with each other. Yeah. Yeah, we we're, we really appreciate um, where we live. There are some, several families that have uh, children that 
you know, they're all in elementary school, but it, it's yeah. fun to see. It's funny, or not funny, but really cool to see how much fun they have just hanging out with each other. Uh, Camelton says, hey, uh, hey, I know what you're talking about here. Married to a teacher. Yeah, you know the, all about the teacher life. Hashtag dropping knowledge. Thank you, uh, Slack Fish. <laughs> Um, hey, one thing I almost forgot, um, we always talk about our stream snacks, folks, so let us know in the comments what you are eating or drinking. I've got a new flavor of LaCroix today. I've got lemon. I've never tried lemon. I like it. It's like a fizzy lemon. I seriously thought you had had that, because I went to Costco and, you know, did mm -hmm. my my every three month try monthly yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. spree there, and <coughs> I just, I bought the LaCroix, and Seriously, I thought you had the lemon and the lime. Yeah, no, I've had the lime before, and then I had, I think I had a lemon, I don't know if there was like another lemon flavor, but this one, I, just plain lemon I haven't had yet, uh. but I like it. I think I've liked pretty much every flavor. Um, I don't know if there's a flavor I did not like, but yeah. Yeah, pamplemousse. <coughs> pamplemousse, thank you, yes. Apparently that is grapefruit. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea that was grapefruit, so. Um, it anyway. sounds French, yeah. It, it does, yeah, we yeah. oui, oui. <laughs> <laughs> Um, where, uh, what do you have uh, for your drink today? I have Amanda tea. <laughs> Amanda tea, yeah. This is um, the organic blood orange rooibos. Mm -hmm. See, I said it. Nice. Practiced in my head. Yeah, you've had this one before. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, I really like it. Nice. Um, I am, so I have that drink. We're also, we've also got some uh, Korean pears or Asian pears that you might see in the market. Um, these were on sale at Seafood City a couple of days ago. So, I actually, for the new year, we got these on the new year because... That whole, like, what is it, eat right, round things um, uh, on New Year's Day for good luck. Lucky, right? yeah. yeah, so we, we like to do the uh, Korean or Asian pears. I love these. They're crispy, not too sweet, very light snack. Uh, DJ Super Best Friend Teachers are unsung heroes. They do much by, uh, agreed, 100%. I've been so married to a teacher many years now, and she is an unsung hero. But thank you for saying thank that. Thank you. Uh, Griff Dog says ginger, chamomile, and turmeric tea. Ooh, that sounds nice. <laughs> Oh, not that. Oh, God. Sorry. I was laughing at Amanda. Oh, yeah, the cousin of Manatee. <laughs> no, no. It was even oh, more I, down I the can't, <laughs> I can't eat snacks during your stream anymore. I'm getting too much weight. <laughs> Girl, I hear you. Yeah, Asian oh Korean pears are so much. Agreed. They're so crispy, right? I mean, I don't know if y'all can hear this. But, yeah, it's crunchy. And I tested my blood sugar yesterday morning, and I was not happy. <laughs> mm. So good, though, folks. If you ever get a chance, pick up um, some uh, crispy Asian pears or Korean pears. Yeah, it's almost like a, it's almost a different consistency too mm -hmm. than um, like regular pears. Yeah, they they're just more crunchy, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. They're kind of bumpy. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, this is an ASMR stream for Asian pears. Now, yeah, <laughs> let me get to the next to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are y'all doing? Anything new? What's going on? We're just just real chill hanging out today. This is going to be our first time playing Sunset Over Water together. And uh, the fact is, wait, is Thursday the snack day? I can't remember my brandy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No. Uh, once, once is our, it's, we do meeple munchies on Saturdays. I'm like, isn't every day snack day? I know. Nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Real Asian Pears also makes great Perry. A local cider purveyor makes Asian Pear Perry. Really? Oh. What's Perry? Yeah, what's Perry? I don't think I've ever heard Asian pear perry. I mean, it's a, it's a cider, of course, but that sounds delicious. The wrappers for Asian pears are great to wrap. Hey, yeah! Oh, I didn't think about that. I should have kept those. I told we had three of them. I just tossed them. Yeah, they're perfect for orders. Yeah! That, so, those that don't know, they are in these, like, sort of... I don't know if it's plastic or, like, styrofoamy, but they fit around the pear perfectly, and they're expandable. So it's almost like a little netting or whatever, but yeah, I yeah. Think that's how I would describe okay. it. Okay, like a styrofoam netting. Okay, yeah. Oh, let's see. Griff Dog says Perry is pear cider using only pears, no apples. Oh, so that sounds Griff, delightful. It does sound delightful. Is it more? Is it sweeter or not as sweet as apple cider? I do like a, a good apple cider. Yeah. We haven't had for well, we are. The plan was last year. What was it? We were gonna go to. We were gonna go to. I can't remember the name of the place. But it's somewhere out in the Inland Empire where you could go apple picking. Mm -hmm. And you can also um, do apple cider tasting at the same place. Yeah. But then... But then, hey. <laughs> this the, happened. Yeah, the <laughs> pandemic happened. There you go. I think they're open again. I don't know if they're doing, like, apple tastings or if you just go to buy the cider. But 
There, isn't there like a few of them all bunched up together? Almost like, you know, how like Napa Valley has a bunch of... Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I thought there were. Like, you know how Napa Valley has a bunch of wineries? Yeah. I think there was like a bunch of like cider... What are cider... Cideries called? Cideries, I don't know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hornus is... Hey, Hornus, thanks for joining us. Hornus has uh, spent 100 bits. Why are you folks. egging him on? <laughs> Oh no, Bruno's asleep right Bruno here. Bruno is asleep here. I don't know but... if that's going to last very long. <laughs> Folks, whenever uh, someone spends bits in our uh, stream here, we get Benny the Bet Spare. Thank you for spending the 100 bits, Harness. I appreciate the support. Bruno's asleep, so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's waking up. I'm going to go. Bye. Oh, no, it's just a stretch. Oh, uh, okay. Stretch. Bruno's not awake, but thanks uh, for um, the bits, uh, Harness. Much appreciated. <laughs> Um, Asian pairs are living a luxurious life in their own individual wraps. Yeah, totally. Griff dog, I think. Oh, hi, GB Glazer in the house. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Michelle and I are just hanging out, eating some Asian pears right now, and we're going to play some Sunset Over Water because we need a really chill stream tonight. You know, after uh, yesterday and just going into today, is just sort of a, a shock to the system. Um, mm -hmm. And not even a shock. I mean, it wasn't like we were surprised. Right. This went down. Right, but but just, you would just think there would be different leadership strategies. Yeah. Slackface. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Slackface. Why are you egging him on? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Slackface, for spending 100 bits. Friends, things will be okay. There is always tomorrow. Uh, January 20th is going to be a good day. Okay. <laughs> USA. USA. <laughs> Bye, friends. <laughs> Thank you for the bed, Stackfish. Appreciate it. That was like one great big hug. <laughs> I know. I'm <laughs> bending the bit, bit bear hug. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it is what it is. We're, we're going to get through this together. Um, I, I was, you know, with all the stuff that's gone over the last four years, this one, it just really hit me. You know, just um, and other things have hit me hard but th this one especially just because you know that's that's our nation's capital and that's just yeah, you're like when is it gonna end yeah you know when is it gonna end yeah will it end on the 20th Who, you know, uh, it's yeah. supposed to <laughs> yeah it's supposed to but yeah i'm not i'm i'm hoping for the best that's all i'm gonna say but um Spackdale, thanks for joining us hello good to see you on here um good to see everyone on here it's, it's nice to again this is how we get together these days and it's so so nice to hang out uh, we will be playing a Sunset Over Water in just a minute or two. Um, just want to hang know. out and chill. Yeah. We're sure today is the 7th. Mm -hmm. It was like three, four years ago now. I got into a really bad accident and broke my arm. Was that four years ago? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I remember it was the first day of school. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I went to, right. to work, came back home, and I was going to meet my friend at the gym. And it had been raining on and off all day long, and and I was not rushing to get to the gym. Yep. But, you know, I was approaching an intersection, and this other driver was coming the opposite way and turned left in front of me, and I couldn't stop because I was already in the intersection. Yeah. And, was, yeah. Yeah. And, and not, I not braced, a day, and, yeah, <laughs> I broke both the bones of my arm and shattered my wrist, and, yeah, it was, it was not fun. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, you gotta be careful. I, I, I forget. Did you spend the night there that night, or you came home that same night? No. no I come home. You get come home, then you had surgery the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay, I can't remember that now. Now that was not. That was not a happy day. Um, but I always say Michelle's like the Terminator. She's got you know metal. Oh yeah, I forget that. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, that's so like I'm like, ah, oh, it's cool. It's like Arnold, but yeah. Another thing too is um, Earl's birthday is in January, and I had already purchased um tickets to oh, see the lakers right. for yeah. his birthday and i think i had my cast maybe a week or so yeah so yeah we went down to the staples center yeah and i was like i wonder if my arm's gonna make the yeah. um, <laughs> the alarm go we're totally worried about that but you know how you have to go through security at the staples center you know and they check your ticket and you walk through the security excuse me we're, we're thinking oh no it's gonna go and start beeping and stuff <laughs> It didn't, though, oh. so, um, yeah, the Lakers, that was a few years, or that was, well, four years ago, so, yeah, they weren't the NBA champions yet, but they were the champs they were in practicing. 2020, yeah, they were, <laughs> they were getting ready, it was before LeBron, it was, I remember we were excited because uh, Jordan Clarkson still mm. played, and he was, mm -hmm. like, the first uh, Filipino-American um, player, 
uh, that are playing on the Lakers or NBA, I believe. And uh, <laughs> but hey, thanks to Jordan Clarkson for getting traded to get LeBron, so that LeBron can bring over Anthony Davis, and we all know what happened next: 2020 NBA champs. Uh, <laughs> Gee, because yeah, we're the Lakers champs back then. We're just in training. <laughs> That's right, just in training. But yeah, that was fun. I remember that game. It was it was fun. Cause, um, we got torched by uh, how was it Indiana? The the one player, Victor Oladipo. I always forget how to say his name, but uh, he he just scorched us. But the Lakers won anyway. So so nice. <laughs> Ar Smith, nice to see you on here. Thank you, thank you, Matter for uh, updating the 2020 champions um thing. Uh, Depot uh, Victor Oladipo. Thank you, uh, Slackfish. Yeah, he had like thirty something points on. He, we couldn't stop him, and but the Lakers still won. It was it was nice, even though the Lakers didn't even make the playoffs that year. But always nice to be in the it Staples happened. Center. Yeah, it, <laughs> always nice to be in the Staples Center to see all those championship banners and everything. But oh. Griff Dog says car wreck story leads to world championship story. Can always find a path. Yeah, right. And speaking of stories, we're gonna yeah we'll go from car wreck story to championship story to whoop. <laughs> The Sunset Over Water Layout, folks. Uh, has anyone played this game yet? And hey, look, I forgot. We're hi, hi, Michelle. You're all the oh. way, all the way across the way. Hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Did you ever see that movie, The Prestige? There's that one like trick of um, what's his name, Christian Bale. Woo! You don't, you don't. No know. one's using this <laughs> face. <laughs> Uh, uh, never heard of it before. I know that game is a beauty, though. Yeah, so great movie. Thank you, AJ. Yeah, I would love The Prestige. Um, I own it and enjoy it. It's basically, if uh, for all the gamers here, it's Tricarion the movie. Or as we say, for movie fans, it's uh, Tricarion is uh, Prestige, the board game. Uh, Sunset Over Water, this is a game by Steve Finn, uh, Beth Sobel, and Eduardo uh, Baraf. Is it Baraf? I, I, f I forget the pronunci pronunciation, but... Beth Sobel did the art. I'm like, right there, I'm just insta-fan. I know, is, let's just sit here and look at these. Yeah, right? and that's why I wanted to play this tonight. I mean, just look at this, these cards. It's beautiful, and there's going to be a stack of them there. Um, and it, it's a light game. It's about a 20-minute game or so. Uh, what you're trying to do, it's basically set collection. And let me, here, I'll put these cards up here and get a closer look for everyone. Um, oh, I can touch this thing. Yeah, hey, look, it works. Uh, so the game lasts six days. Each day has three phases. So six rounds, basically. The first phase is plan. All the players do this simultaneously. You will draw three of your... So go ahead and just shuffle these. Bit and put them face down. These are, are your planning cards. You will draw three into your hand. And then you will choose one to play face down. And the other two will go below uh, at the bottom of your deck. Okay. So just as an example, this is the one I've chosen. Okay, and we'll reveal them simultaneously. And then phase two is Trek. So you're going to wake up. So whoever has the earliest uh, time will go first. Okay, so can I look at these? The, the three? first three, yes. And you will okay, choose and one and choose put the one. other two on the bottom. Okay. okay. So uh, let's just say that I chose the earliest time at 530. I'm an early riser, which is, this is obviously a game and totally fictional. <laughs> And then um, you're going to do any or all, uh, do then do any or all of these actions. Hike, which is move your artist. Paint, which is uh, collect landscapes. Sell, which is trade landscapes for commissions. And then claim, if applicable, the uh, claim today's uh, goal. So let's take a look at all these different steps here. So first is hike. So hike, Michelle and I, we both start in the middle here. The middle, um, uh, whoops. Does it say where these um, locations are? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't, honestly, I don't know where uh, Beth's uh, inspiration came from. But, I mean, these are... I mean, I hope they look okay on the screen. But these look... In real life, they look beautiful. Um, so, Michelle and I both start here just chilling in the middle. And what you're going to do is you look on your little planning um, card. And you're going to take the action. So, if I wanted to move, I look here. This is how many spaces I can move. And then these are the directions I can move here. So in this case, this card, I can move up to two spaces diagonally. Oh, I'm the orange one, by the way. Um, <laughs> I can move up to two spaces diagonally according to that card. Now, I cannot do this where I can't go like this. And I, once I start a direction, I have to continue that mm -hmm. direction. Okay, so let's just say I go one, two. Okay, so that is the 
hike action, which is move your artist. Now I can paint. I have a question. Yeah. Do you have to move two or? You, you may move, move up to two. Yeah. You can you can stay if you want. Whatever. Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to collect land or paint landscapes. That's basically <laughs> collecting. Um, to collect uh, items or paint items, you are going to uh, pick up landscapes uh, landscape cards up to the number shown. So in this case, I have one. So that means I can collect one of these. Whoops, let me get this out of the way. So. No sleeping late variant? Uh, no sleeping late variant. Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> what about uh, second breakfast? Second breakfast. <laughs> I'm always down for second breakfast. So. <laughs> nice. Um, so I moved down here two spaces, but my card says I can take up to one landscape. So I can either take from where I started this one or this one okay anything on but your if path you take the one where you started i i'm gonna be in space yeah so that's a, uh, actually a good point you can never take anything that has your opponent's meeple on it oh i mean i was gonna be in space here yeah <laughs> oh that. yeah no but what i uh, what i'm saying uh, is when i move here i i can technically take this one uh actually that's the only one i can take because if you were here then i could take this one mm -hmm. or this one yeah but yeah then you fall in space <laughs> Uh, this game was one who we'd bring the coffee shops during the before time. Oh, nice, DJ Super Restaurant. So you're going to be helping us with the rules, right? <laughs> <laughs> I tend to forget rules. Um, so now the other things you can do on your turn. Ben's in the house. Hey, Ben. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. We were we just got done talking about uh, the events of yesterday, and hopefully you and Steph are doing all right. We are just, we're dealing with the best we can do with it. Um, so now the next thing you may do is sell. So... What you're trying to sell <coughs> are these commissions here. <coughs> these are the victory points up here. And these are the requirements. So this one here, you'll notice you have to have one painting that has the um, water on it. Okay. So, or this uh, symbol, which I believe is water. Is that water the lake? Right. Oh, no, it's the coast. The, the coast. This is the coast. Okay. And what you do is just look on here. You're trying to find one with the coast. Oh, okay, so it's got the same symbols yeah. up at the top. Yeah, okay. so it's basically set collection, friends. And Toro's in the house. What up, fam? Thanks for joining us, Victor. Um, so we're playing Sunset Over Water, and we're just going over the rules real quick. So what this means, you have to have a card that has exactly one coast on it. So this one has one. This is Wildflower. Uh, this is uh, Sunset and so when you say exactly <coughs> one coast, it has to be like that one at the top with no yep. other symbols? That's correct, yeah. Okay. So this is the one that would fulfill this commission. Okay. And then we have other ones here that have two landscapes. So you need to have two cards that have... This one needs a wildflower, a waterfall, and then any symbol. So three symbols total. And this one needs a sunset and then any... Um, symbol there. So two. And obviously that's worth more. It's worth five. This one's worth six points and it needs three. Three different paintings. Each one with a symbol. Any symbol plus a waterfall. Any symbol plus a waterfall? Yep. Okay. For three different ones. Yeah. And Slickfish says, yeah, uh, I was wondering why you wouldn't just always take the three symbol cards. Right. Yep. <clears throat> is it by the row and column the player piece is in? Um... Oh, uh, Razback390, thanks for uh, the question. So what you do is you move, you can move, and then according to this number, that's how many landscapes you can take. So you're going to save them over, over the turn. So let's say I take this one. Uh, if I had this one right now, uh, this is only wildflowers. There are, no, um, there are no cards that have just wildflowers. So I'm just going to save this for the next turn. Okay. <laughs> laughing because that's the um, California State Flower, the Golden Poppy. Oh, okay. And when I taught fourth grade, like the kids wanted to learn the California State song. And at that time, I think Volkswagen had a um, a commercial mm -hmm. that had the the California State song playing on it. And oh. my kids learned all of the verses. So for open house, they sang it. Oh. <laughs> but they sang it over and over. It's a wonder I don't remember it. I was going to say, do you still remember? I don't Just the first part. I, I love you, California. Da, 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 da. Okay, okay, it totally doesn't sound like that. <laughs> it's I, better in my head. <laughs> does anyone know the California State song? Actually, wherever you are at, do you know your state song? I don't. I had no idea. I always thought, I just assumed our state song was um, 
I love LA. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. But I guess that's not it. So um, close. So yeah. Close. yeah. <laughs> or either that or a California, you know, uh, California Tupac love? song. Yeah, a Tupac song. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm assuming it's not, but it should be. California was founded a long time before Tupac came around. Yeah, but we should update the state song. All right, right okay. Well, let's work on that. <laughs> uh, so column two, row three. Oh, uh, Slackfish, uh, is it by the row? Oh, from the, yeah, so from the path you traveled, that's how many paintings, or that's the paintings you get. And again, it depends on which one you, which card you play. So I could have played this one. But I'm obviously I would I probably go second because I'm waking up later, ten forty five. I not only get to three move three spaces in these directions, but I do get two paintings, okay, or landscapes. Uh, so column two, three with the waterfall. Column no two. No idea what it is in Washington. Uh, I bet it's got something to do with apples. Uh, let's see, column <laughs> two, row three with the waterfall would work for the second commission card, but not the first. Uh, yes. Uh, column two, column two. I should yeah. pay attention. <laughs> so this would, you, you would be able to complete this one here, right? Because it has, it has a uh, wildflower, a uh, waterfall, and then any and symbol okay. here. But that's just for one of them. You have to complete both of them to get, ah, them, to okay. get them five points. And for it, this doesn't, <laughs> Gabriel might blow his horn. <laughs> Oklahoma from the musical, <laughs> Oklahoma, wait, is it? No, it's not Oklahoma, is it really? <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> yeah, I know it is one in Washington. Yeah, I would totally believe you. Uh, let me just make sure, uh, paint and then sell for the commission. Yeah, sells many and landscapes desired require more than one commission card. Player must discard a set of or single landscape painting that matches the requirements of an available, oh, a single landscape can only be sold for a single commission card. Sold landscapes are discarded in a common discard pile. Okay. You know, I thought I had played this game before. I swear I, I had thought I'd played... Now I'm going over the rules and stuff. I don't think I have played this game. I, I totally mixed this up with another game. So my bad, folks. Uh, Griff Talk says, Just search it. Washington, my home, written in 1951. I love you, California is the regional anthem of the U.S. state. California originally published in 1913, it was adopted in 18, reconfirmed in 1987. So official, okay, yeah, I, 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 I had no idea, and I also have, I it's thought I played this game. No. Yeah, so I'm, it says here the player may now acquire commission cards by selling pick. I'm assuming that you have to meet all the requirements to get this. So this would just be one coast. You have to have two landscapes for this one. And Kids Playing Dan, thanks for joining us. And then you need three of them for this. Mm, excuse me. Okay. And you can do more than one in a turn if you if you have available landscapes. Okay. And then finally, the other thing you may do on the fa uh, this phase is you may claim, if applicable, uh, claim today's... Uh, man, my fingernails all messed up. Uh, today's daily goal... So the daily goal of this, we're going to flip this up here. The daily goal for this round is be the last person to not sell a landscape painting. Okay? And that's just for the round. Uh, these change uh, every round. Um, and that's it. Um, and then the game lasts for six rounds or six days. And then the most points wins. Um, let me check the end, end game scoring. So we do a cleanup phase. Oh, the cleanup phase, that's when we refill the paintings. The holes? That have been, yeah, okay. the holes in the paintings. And we reveal a new goal card, and then we deal new commission cards from the deck. Starting with the face-up um, from the deck. Starting with the face-up card on top of the deck. Oh, is there going to be a face-up one? I didn't even know that. So there would actually be four to choose from? Yeah, I believe so. Let me see. This is letter number two, letter D. Turn over and place it on. Commission draw. Yeah. Okay. So this one is actually also available here. Cool. Uh, interesting. Phantom Game Syndrome. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Toro. You know, I one of those things I thought we'd, I'd play this game for. Uh, most of the time, goal cards go to the first player to a person to tune, but here, the last part. Yeah, this, this is what's interesting about this game. Uh, so, game end, we do the six rounds, and then final scoring, we get commission, we count your commission cards. Uh, any un unsold landscapes in your play area, you, you get one for every two features rounding down. So what's that what? mean? 
So the cards that you did not sell, <coughs> like let's say you had these two left in your hand, mm -hmm. you're for every two symbols that match, you get one point. So I have one or two here, two here, so two points. Okay. Okay. And finally, the inspiration bonus: gain one renown for each completed commission card that includes the feature matching the player's inspiration card. What is our? Oh, you know what? I'm totally reading the wrong rules. <laughs> that was for the solo game, folks. Uh, let's see the rules for end game scoring. Game ends after six days. Uh, you get points from your commission, any daily goals that you completed, and then unsold landscapes, like I was saying, one point per two features rounded down. Oh, no, it's two total features of uh, the rounded down. So you have, if I had five, you just count the features. Mm -hmm. So this is five divided by two rounded down, so it's still two points. So if I had these three cards left over, I have three, six, seven, eight. Divided by two is four points. Okay. Cool, cool. <coughs> and that's the game. Yeah, I'm making the game harder, right, Amanda? Playing the expert variant, apparently. <laughs> um, let's jump into it, shall we? <coughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they say to what player goes first. Probably like the player with the greenest thumb or something like that. The player that bought a plant. Okay. Yeah. Last. Oh, who who bought a plant last? That would I be did. you. What'd you buy? <laughs> so I went to the store today, and, and the plants were outside, you know, the, the front door, and, and I bought kale. Ah, Because it was a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Anyone ever buy a kale plant? I, I mean, it looks like it looks like a little kale. A little kale, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and shuffle our planning cards. Oh, I did. Oh, okay, we're not hit. using the one. Okay. No, no, go ahead. No, that's all right. So you look at the top three, and you will choose one and place it face down. And remember, there are certain directions you can go. Mm. Okay, and the other two just go at the bottom of your pile? Correct. Okay. These are really pretty. Yeah, it's a gorgeous game. Okay, so now uh, step two, or phase two, we open them up. I am waking up at 1045. Because <laughs> you had your second breakfast. Yeah, I did. What time are you waking up? Five oh. Dark O'Clock. Dark O'Clock. Oh, my gosh. So, Michelle will go first. Okay, so I can move two spaces in any direction. Yep. And you um, cannot change directions, so you just go straight ahead in any direction. Okay. Well, now i got to think about this because the symbol's on the card. Hey, Griff Dog has bought many kale plants. I am part of an urban gardener project up here in Seattle. Oh, that's so oh. cool. So, please tell me it's, like, easy to take care of because I do not have a green thumb. Um, I will go this way to one. Oh, but I can't take the one that's that I land on. Uh, I believe that is correct. Let me right. check. Right. Okay. That's my do over. Um, so I'm going to go. Well, so if I go right here and just move one space, can I take this one? Uh, let me check. Uh, and Slackfish says I think you can take the one you land on. I believe so. Let me check here. The okay. player may pick up the yeah. Uh, the player may pick up the landscape card where they be, their trek began at the game start. Only a final player to move from the center may pick it up. Uh, huh. After the players move their token, they may pick up any landscape card on the path up to the number shown on the planning card played in the trek phase. However, they may not pick up those occupied by another artist. Okay, yeah. So okay, the so one, I can pick up this one. That's the way I read it, yeah. And Slackfish okay. says it's okay, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And, and then are you able to fulfill a... That's a very handy there. Or are you able to paint... Or no, you painted... Are you able to sell? Here, I would need both of these. Correct. Right? Yeah. No, I'm not able to sell. Okay. And then are you able to claim the daily goal, which, what does it say? Be the last person to not sell a landscape painting. Oh, okay. So you're not going to get that one. So that's the end of your turn. It's a really quick game. Oh, um, sweet. That's good to hear about the, the kale. Um, they're very hardy. They are biennials, so will generally last two years, then go oh, cool. to seed. Oh, cool. Nice. Sweet. And Slackfish does, uh, yeah, in the diagram it shows a green check on the last tile. Yeah. Yep. So you can take, you know, the one, yeah. The one that, that you land, land on. Yep. 
Okay, so cool, now cool. I'm just floating around in space. Yeah, and you will. It's it represents you just chilling at, like that meeple painting that landscape. <laughs> uh, I am going to go. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. So here's my card. So I woke up later, um, but I do get to go this way. Um, one, two, and I get to take two painting or two landscapes. So I'm going to take this mm -hmm. one and this one. Oh. Okay. And let me see. I can get that one, but I cannot get that one yet. Okay. Um, now it's, I check if I can do any goals. Um, I can because I did not paint any. Oh, wait, no. It'd be the last to not sell a land. Okay. So Michelle didn't uh, sell. Now I didn't sell, but I'm the last person, so I get this daily goal for two points. And then we do the cleanup phase. Uh, replenish landscape cards. If you could do that, please. Okay. Oops. Well, that's pretty. That looks like mammoth. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are just so gorgeous, folks. Nice. Ooh, I'm cold up in these... Heels. Up in the them higher hard heels. Uh, okay, <laughs> Dar after you complete the trek phase, uh, prepare for the next day. Um, we just started, Oscar. Yeah, just started, Oscar. <laughs> uh, from left to right, started in the top row. Okay. Oh, you're supposed to go this way. That's all good. What? So now we reveal the new daily goal card. Okay. Be the last person to move diagonally. Oh. Okay. Um, well, if you always go second, then you're always going to be the last person, and if it's the same. No, because it depends what time you play. Oh, yeah, so that's you do, right. Yeah, you okay. have control over that. Uh, so, but the card that we played that is discarded out of the game. Now <laughs> that card will never be part of uh, my deck, and this one will never be part of your deck anymore. Okay, so GB Glazer researched. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Good to hear. Um, you made me question my knowledge of the Oklahoma State song, and I can now confirm that it is the Rodgers and Hammerstein song, Oklahoma, from oh, the musical. nice. Excellent. Always good to, to learn things. That's, that's cool. A kale will be happiest now uh, through spring, as they like it a little cooler and damper, but if you keep them watered, they will take the heat of summer. Oh, interesting. Okay. okay. Michelle made, uh, back in the day, she, well, back, not back in the day, about a year ago, you made some kale chips that were pretty decent. Oh, yeah. Where are those? I like those. Yeah, so that far. was when I was, yeah. uh, like, healthier. <laughs> 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 I was a little more uh, gung-ho about it. Now I'm like, no, it's in a bag. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Start with the face of Carla and place them face up and replace them with those acquired during the day. Okay. Replace them. Okay, so we didn't um, do any of these, so the these are going to stay until they get taken away. Okay. Oh, these? Yeah, the until okay. yeah, they stay. We'll refill as needed. Now okay. we step, go back to draw three. Okay. And we're going to play one. One, two, three. Okay, I don't know. I'm, I'm in these icy mountains here. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do I need? I need this one. Ah, I know what we do. Okay. Excuse me. I'm going to play this one. And then you take the tube and place them under the deck. Okay. Okay. Don't forget, Oklahoma is the 46th state in the union to come and say 1907. Really? 46? Yeah, that is a... I would assume wow. that Oklahoma was like one of the older Everyone, states. Right? Yeah, it's interesting. Good use of kale and in soups. There's an excellent Portuguese kale. Oh, I've never had Portuguese kale soup. Ooh. Have you ever, you ever no. I put kale in a lot of stuff, but I don't yeah. think I've ever had any type of Portuguese soup. Yeah, me neither. Alrighty. Okay. Let's see if I can make that in my Instant That's Pot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was speaking of it, Michelle's loving her Instant Pot, from the air fryer. The air fryer. Just oh my gosh. Killing yes. it. She made uh, these pork chops. Were really, I was so surprised for. Pork chops, and they came. They had that consistency of being fried. Cause I like to fry pork chops up. That's one of my go-to's, and she did it, and it tasted just like it, but without all the grease and stuff, which was nice. Um, now all we need to do, I feel like we're gonna add some of the like my how I like to dress it up with a little soy sauce, a little onions, fried yeah. you know grilled onion or fried onions. Uh, I did not figure out the apple chips because I really I like apple chips crunchy, and these were not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it had the flavor. I thought it was uh, it had the flavor pretty much, but it just didn't have that crunch 
which I like. And, and it was kind of, I don't want to say like mushy. It wasn't like mushy like applesauce, but mm -hmm. um, it was, I don't know how to describe that. Yeah. Because it wasn't crunchy and yeah. it, I don't know, it was just kind of like soft and pillowy, almost like the um, consistency of a marshmallow. Yeah, yeah. GB Glaze was asking, um, do you use a dehydrator? No, this is um, Michelle's uh, air fryer, and she well, she's trying to do, what was it? like the? I wanted to do apple chips, and I did try the air fryer and the dehydrator functions at different times, obviously, but neither one came out like the way that I like them. Because mm -hmm. I thought the dehydrator was supposed to make them more like crispy. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Which, I guess they were, you know, more toward the crispy side. Yeah, yeah. But I don't, um, yeah, I just, uh, I'll buy the apple chips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, GB Glazer says, I know there isn't a text in this chat because I've tossed out three OK comment, uh, Oklahoma comments and uh, received no, no flack. flack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he's my text hard diets every day I'll be OK. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, AJ says, my favorite way to have pork chops is tonkatsu. Oh. Yeah, uh, we love... Okay, that's next. Yeah, tonkatsu sounds delicious. Uh, let's see, it is a heavy... Oh, uh, Steph, uh, hi Steph. Steph says, Instant Pot plus uh, Air Fryer are the dream team. Right? Yeah. I have not used our oven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, we got some jokes. So Horta says, you know why Texas hasn't fallen into the ocean? TV layers because OK sucks. <laughs> Hortis, I'm so glad you're here. All right. I, we love bringing people together in chat. This is what we're all about. Uh, it is heavy, LOL. Um, yeah, I remember you folks having the Apple ones on stream on night, uh, one night recently. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's harsh, uh, right, Slackfish? As long as everyone, you know, we all can get uh, get along here. Um, let's continue, shall we? I'm going, you got a card to play? Oh, I do. OK, I'm waking up at 530 this time. Oh. 6.45. Ooh, just beat you. Okay. Um, what I want to do oh, he's is... busy making breakfast. Yeah, you were, you know, <laughs> I was, uh, was it the early bird gets the uh, landscape painting? Um, <laughs> I believe that's the official saying. I'm going to move one space uh, here. Wait a second. You know, you could be totally tricky with this game. This is thinkier than I thought it might be. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go here and take the one I'm on. So you can only take one card, is that right? Uh, it depends on the number here. So this one, you can take three. You always go by the number here. Okay. Yeah. Oh. But okay. now remember, that's the directions you can go. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool, cool. So I've got this card here. I've woken up first. I can go two spaces in any direction. I've decided just to go one. And then um, I'm taking that painting. Now I'm going to fulfill this one here. This commission because I have my three cards, uh, each of them. Wait a second, did I do this wrong? Oh darn it! I may have done it wrong. Man, fish ass. When was the last time you woke up at five thirty a.m. Ruel? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I have no comment. Uh, <laughs> am I supposed to hit the exact number? So one, one, and yep. Oh, okay. So what this means here is all three must have a waterfall. They Then they may have other features or no other features. Okay? So they just have to have, have, to have a waterfall. waterfall. Yeah. Okay. So I do have the three with the waterfalls here. So I turn those in or I discard those. And I've done my first commission. Woo! Six points at the end of the game. Uh, so that is my turn. do we refill right away or do we wait until the next round? Uh, wait, and, wait until the end okay. of the game. Okay. So now Michelle can take her turn. Okay, so I can move three spaces north, south, east, or west. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go one, two, three, mm -hmm. and I can take three landscapes. Night, Oscar. Have a good one. Thanks for dropping in. Okay, so um, so can I go one, two, three? Yep. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, nice. Nice. Okay. So, I can fulfill one of these bad boys here, I believe. Yes. Okay, so this one has a flower, waterfall, and a whatever. Uh-huh. So, flower, waterfall, whatever. Yep. And then sun and whatever. Nice. Five points. 
Hey, I taught my students how to paint this. <laughs> oh, Lucia? That one. Really? You... I did. Michelle had her students paint this one, folks. In uh, your, uh, recently, or? Well, it was when we were offering art. Mm. Um, what did I do? Oh, these two. So what do I do uh, with just, these? We'll just start a discard pile over okay. here. That was fun. Yeah. The, the art class, yeah. Nice. Uh, okay. So then we discard this planning card. And then now we refill everything. Oh, so we check the goal first. Be the last person to move diagonally. Oh, diagonally. I forgot. Okay, I, I didn't move diagonally. I didn't either, so we just discard it. Okay. Okay, so now we're in the cleanup phase. Uh, Slacker, so I have yet to see why you'd want to go first. It seems like the late cards are always better, both for getting more cards and getting the daily goals. Right. Yeah, well, this one, I, I think there uh, I think there are, yeah, you know, this, well, I guess if you really want to get certain cards, you want to go first. But yeah, we're, we're going to have to see it as, as we continue here um, what else comes out. Okay, okay so, so now we, yep. And we have to do it from left to right? Is that what yeah, I heard top, you say? Yeah, top, yeah. Like basically, whoop, 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 like that. <laughs> Use the force. Okay. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, whoop. <laughs> Everybody whoop. chat. Whoop. There it is. Oh no. Whoop. And then whoop. Thank you. Okay. I've refilled these. And whoop. What is the new goal? Be the last person to move horizontally. Okay. See, you want to be yeah. the last. For the goals, yeah. Okay, so it just depends on what. Um, card comes out. Yep, so draw three and we will choose one. So you might want to wake up later. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I guess if you want, if you really want like a goal card or a commission card, the scoring, you want to go first to claim it. Um. Mm -hmm. oh, there's so many things to look at. Okay. Let me see what I have already. So what does this mean? Any symbol. Any card? Yeah. Okay. So this is two cards. This one has to have anything. This one has to have this, this, and anything. Okay. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Slackfish, whoop, whoop. Check it, check it. Let's begin. <laughs> any single feature. Yes, any single feature. Oh, all by itself. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. When are you gonna get up? Uh, we'll, we shall see. We shall see. Okay. Okay. Bruno's looking for Benny again. <laughs> okay, I'll do this one. Yeah, all the other two go below the deck. Hey, Bruno. Okay. Benny isn't here yet. Okay, ready? Yes. I'm waking up at 12.15, a little later today. 10.15. All right. Michelle's I never first. get up at 10.15, <laughs> ever. Can I have some of the pears, please? Yeah. Thanks. All right. There's a napkin. Okay, so I go first so I can move three spaces. One, two, three. And I can take two landscapes. So I'm going to take, um, I don't know, I'll take this one. It's pretty. Okay, and if I can... You can check one more. Do... Oh, okay. You got two landscapes um, on that card. Well, I'll take this one. Okay. Okay. So, now I can resolve if I can? Yep. Okay, Play so as many as you want. I have... Oh. No, okay. So, I have this one. So, a mountain, a sun, and water. Okay. Oh, Game Jedi, thanks for stopping by. Hi, bye. And then an anything. All right. Okay, so there's that. Anything else? Um. No. Okay. Wait. No. No. Okay. Cool, cool. My go? Yes. I could move four across and pick up three paintings. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to pick up three paintings. I'm going to pick up this one, this one, and the one I'm on. 
And then I'm going to paint this one for three points. Wait a second. That's not the one I can paint. Darn it! Oh, wait, yeah, it is. <laughs> so this one I can paint because I have a coastal and a sunset. And this one here requires a sunset and anything else. So I'll be three points at the end. And that's all I can paint, so I'll have two landscapes for the next round. Uh, we discard our planning cards. Or I think you these, okay. Yep. And then we refill. Um, this one, the last person to move horizontally, which I wasn't paying attention oh, to. Oh, Cypher says that commission is not available. Oh, really? Hmm. What did you do? I bought this one. Apparently, it's not available this round. Thanks, Slackfish. It's just, it just it just shows you what's available oh, next round. Oh, it's cool. just a teaser. Yep. Cool. Thanks. So I'll save that. Wait, it was this one. Cool. Thanks, Slackfish. Always looking out. Okay. So, where did you you moved here? Did you go horizontally? I Is did. that how you did? Yep. Okay. <gasps> See. Yes. So this card says last person to move horizontally gets two points. All right. So why would you want to be the first person then? Um, I really think you want to be first if you know that you can complete one of these, you know, oh. and your opponent can too. That's the only, th uh, right now that's the advantage I can see. It's dumb. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now we refill stuff. And see, okay, so now here I'd want to go first is now that I know that I can get this card uh -huh. before you get it. You know. So I I want to wake up earlier. Yeah. Uh, let's, can you refill these? Oh. Ones? Oh yes, I can do that. <laughs> so this one says be the last person to paint a landscape with exactly one feature. Ah. Okay. Oh. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> Down. Bruno's right underneath my my feet. Mm -hmm. Well, where my feet would be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, so now we do the little cards. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Sock for show. That's the sound fam of the fam bam. Or that's green. right. Whoop whoop whoop. <laughs> this is how we communicate. Whoop whoop whoop. whoop, whoop. whoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the goal? Or what is it? Uh, daily. Be the last to paint a landscape with exactly one feature. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What do I want? Okay, that's I can see where like if you're trying to get a particular landscape. I can see where you're trying to rush to get it before your opponent, which I feel like it's probably more apparent in a multiplayer game rather than a two-player game. Uh. Daryl, well, the one hour's in the house. Hi, Daryl. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Griff Dog, thanks for the feedback. Uh, these are tiny little, especially these people use to hold single stamps. Oh, wow. Tiniest card. Those are dinky. So I can turn over the more, one more person to place, place up. Got it. Thanks, Slackfish, for checking on that. Oh, AliExpress, all of those sleeves. Obsession. Now, I've heard that's a good game, Griff Dog. Uh, it's, I think it was Thinker Themer that were just raving about that recently. Um. Okay, see, now I don't know where I'm going to go this round. I want to paint that one. I have a question. Yeah. Okay, so if. Say I move like to the corner, mm -hmm. but the card says I can move three spaces, and I can take three paintings. So can I still? I, how do I? Can yeah, I do that? Uh, you can do it, but you're gonna be. Uh, you can only take the paintings um, in your path. Ah. So you would get this one and this one. You're basically gonna all. lose out. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Griff dog. Okay. Yeah. Thinker themer. Yep. They're great. Speaking of Thinker Themer, I really like um, their content. Their approach is awesome. They just seem to have so much fun. Yeah, I agree, mm -hmm. uh, GB. That's I, I just love their channel because they're just naturally, you know, it just looks like they enjoy hanging out and playing games and talking about them. Um, I like their, you know, how they take it from the thinking, you know, mechanical standpoint 
than the themer, the theme standpoint. I, I think it's a really great channel. And they're just the nicest people, too. Well, at least, I mean, they seem like the nicest people, right? I mean, uh, now, don't forget, I was looking, my, one of my cards will not give me the right direction that I want to go. Ooh, see, this messes things up for me. Okay. Just be a happy wanderer. Yeah, but, oh, man. Excuse me, this is actually not that great of a card. Okay, actually, no, I can't do <laughs> Dang it. The most restrictive rule in the game, the artist token may not change direction while moving. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if I... Well, that's not going to get me what I want either. <laughs> I know, right? Huh. Oh, maybe that This one. might get... <laughs> Okay. Huh. Okay. I, like, I see one fun. card I need, but there's a I need a second card to do what I want to do, but it's not going to happen. Darn it. Okay. I'm going to play this card, I guess. <laughs> but what if the artist needs to stop and smell the roses over there? Agreed. Oh. Okay. I'm playing this card. What a dilemma. The other two go below your uh, bottom of your deck. There's no rose smelling in this game. <laughs> yeah, right. You ready? Yes. I'm waking up at 8.30. I slept in today. I'm getting up at 12.45. 12.45, oh boy. Sounds like a bunch of my students. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I can only go up, down, or diagonal. I cannot go horizontal, but I can take two landscapes. So I'm going to go diagonal. One, two. And the two I'm going to take are going to be uh, these two. And then I can paint this one here. It is a sunset with any symbol. And I have a sunset with a coast. So I discard that. I get this one. And then this, excuse me, be the last one. Oh, okay, I cannot do that one. So now it's Michelle's turn. Okay, so you're in my way, so can I still go that direction? I think you can jump over people, but you cannot land on the same spot. Okay, so I can yep. move four, four spaces that way. Mm -hmm. So I have to stop there, so I can still take this one, correct? Because yep. I can take three landscapes. Yep. So this one, this one, and this one. Nice. You want to split this last pair? Oh, no, you can have it. Thanks. It's $5, though. What? <laughs> okay, and I believe I can claim this one. Mm -hmm. I got water, a sunset, and a question mark. So there's that, and this can be anything. Mm -hmm. So I will do that one. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. What? That one, got the top right. But then the bottom one, it oh, must it be, has to be one a thing. single okay. oh, symbol. I got it. Yep. I got it. Okay. And you get to complete the goal. I do. I'm the last person to paint a landscape with exactly one feature. Mm -hmm. We're getting raided by the Brothers Murph. Hey, thanks for the raid, Brothers Murph. Hope you're doing well. What'd you guys play? And friends who are here for the first time, thank you. This is the raiding hat. My name is Ruel Gabriel. This is my wife, Michelle. Hola. And this is Tabletop Tonight. We play games here on Twitch uh, pretty much every day of the week at 7 p.m. Pacific. We're so happy you're here. Everyone's dropping dangs in the chat and rays. Thank you, friends. We are playing Sunset Over Water. And I've got a full mouth, so pardon me while I uh, finish my Asian pair. Um, what was it that um, Nick had on his shirt? Oh, yeah. What? New Year's Day. Michelle was asking you about... Ask about your shirt. Oh, was it, um... Wait, wait, wait. It'll come to me. Um, Michelle loved your shirt the other day. What was it, uh... It's supposed to say... Best, best of the of week. Better of the week. Better the week. Michelle wants one of those shirts, guys. Uh, but anyways, thank you, friends, for joining us. I see Atomic Jukebox in the house. Hi, Crystal. Thanks for joining us. Uh, almost have a haven. Thank you for hanging out. Slackfish just cheered 300 bits. Folks, you know what that means. Here on our channel, we do analog alerts. And whenever someone spends bits here, Benny the Bits Bear shows up. Thank you, friends. Hello, Brothers Murph and friends. Thank you for the raid. 
We really appreciate your support. I'm here to have fun, welcome you friends, and also ruin ruin Ruel's voice. So, <laughs> thank you for your support. We are playing Sunset Over Water. Let's get back to the game, shall we? Okay. They're going to send me a shirt. What? <laughs> oh, it's going to be better than we, better than, better than we. <laughs> I, Nick, Mike, I swear, this one here, is that's all she's been saying all week. It's been hilarious. <laughs> Uh, GB Glazer says, should Benny get a friend, Remy the Raid Raccoon? Oh, oh. GB Glazer, I think you're onto something. But uh, welcome, friends, again. Thank you all for hanging out. We appreciate uh, y'all hanging out. We have a, we always have a good time here with chat and with all you. And this is our way of staying in touch with all our friends and family through the wonders of the Internet. Dragon Bear 1982 is in the house. Someone who does puppet voices frequently, do that grunt voice for any experiment over time can really kill your throat. Yeah, I've really got to think of a new name of, or new voice for it. Dragon Bear, thank you for uh, reminding me too. Um, I want to eventually make uh, Benny's voice uh, <laughs> sound very similar to mine. So <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we're going to go with. Yes, Benny, hashtag say Benny. Benny. <laughs> thank you for the raid again, brothers. Both Murph, much appreciated. My hand is off to you, friends. Um, let us continue with our game. Hornus says <gasps> hydrate. Thank yes. yes. Good call. I think I'm running out of tea, though. Uh, Benny could have a long lost twin. Hey, Atomic Duke, I love it. Let's. We should probably get like a backstory to Benny, you know? <laughs> and, um, you know, we'll, we'll have Benny. Hi, I'm Benny. Benny the Bit Spare. My voice is, has magically changed to sound just like Ruel's. <laughs> I was going to do. Benny, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, friends, for the support. Where uh, did Benny go? <laughs> oh, that voice. Yeah, where did Benny go, right? It, it's magical. Um, suggest going for a high voice should fit nicely for a bear. Yeah, that's, that'll probably work. Because he likes you so much, he wants to sound like, Thank you, Mills, right? It's, Benny is just all up on me. I don't know what his problem is. But. Jimmy Glazers says maybe Benny can give up his menthol habit and his voice will clean up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Benny will, yeah, we're going to get Benny into a program, and, you know, but what, what are the, the patch, he'll, Benny will have the patch, and he'll eventually give up his, um, his nasty habit of smoking. Um. <laughs> that was Bart, where's Benny? <laughs> yeah, yeah making new patches for Benny, yeah. Hashtag, uh, help Benny stop smoking. We'll put a little oxygen cannula. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, poor Benny. Uh, friends, thanks again for joining us. We are playing Sunset Over Water. This is a fun little um, a card game that uh, we're finding out. Uh, I think we would prefer it at uh, more players. Um, I, I really think it, it would play just, you know, the whole, like, la going last thing. Because, yeah. like you were saying, it's pretty obvious for a two-player game, you, you want to go last to get that bonus. <laughs> Only you can prevent Benny from lighting <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Benny the, the smoking bear. <laughs> Oh. How many players does this play? I believe it's uh, two to four, or one to four, actually. Yeah, up to four players. Um, and it does have a solo mode. So, yeah, uh, that's one cool thing I like. I love when games have solo mode, so I'm interested to try that out. Uh, Hornus, Benny's in California. Are we sure that's nicotine? Oh, yeah, oh, that's it's right. It's questionable hey, now. <laughs> very questionable. Actually, during certain times of the year, I think it's uh, Benny just breathing in all the uh, California fire just ash. Just take it. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh. Yeah. Poor Benny. Well, we'll take care of Benny. Thanks again for spending the bits, friends. <laughs> okay, so now we replenish? Yeah, so we're at the end of, I believe it's the fourth round. We're just going to replenish here. And this is a beautiful game. Art by Beth Sobel. Uh, designed by um, Steve Finn and uh, Eduardo Baraf. Baraf. Um, we're going to bring these in here. These are the commission cards. These are the ones we're trying to get by... You just, you just move along anywhere in the grid here, depending on what card you play, and you're going to collect paintings or paint the landscapes. And you take the landscape cards that you collect and you're going to try to fulfill um, commissions or orders. And there's also a daily goal as well. Which one is the daily goal for this? Uh, um, be the last person to paint a landscape with exactly two features. Two features, okay. And just as a quick reminder here, and for those who just joined us, uh, we have, these are the different <laughs> landscapes you can paint. And we're just looking for these symbols on the top of the cards here. And those are the ones that you turn in to do the commissions. Oh, wow. For example, here's a commission here. Uh, this one scores six points, but you need to have three landscape cards. Each one must have a wildflower and then any other symbols on there. Okay. And as Slackfish um, noted, this card here, that's just showing you what's next 
uh, to on the commission uh, line, you can only buy these three. You can only complete these three here. So here's my points now. Oh, uh, so, sucks. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna start oh. our next round. We draw three cards, and we will select one and place it face down. So I like this. It's like the wake up phase. It's sort of like uh, reminds me of like that worker placement. Uh, what was it? A uh, viticulture. You know, you, whoever wakes up first, you know, gets to take their first turn. It's also that game parf Parfume, I believe. Oh, this, this is awful. Yeah, I tried to set myself up to go somewhere, and I totally miscalculated. So, Boo earns on me. This is awful. Now, don't forget, at the end of the game, the cards that you did not paint, you will get um, one point for every two symbols. Okay. So, yeah, just try to get a bunch of symbols. Excuse me. Okay. Bruno snoozing away, folks. Oh, this is awful. Beth's solo nature art. Yeah, this game is making <gasps> me excited for. Yeah, Cascadia. That looks so good, right? Uh, on to round. Yeah, we are round five. Thank you, Slackfish. Benny should have went first. He bought some dried plant recently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Benny with the interesting choice of uh, purchases. Thought it was a salad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Do 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 do. do. Oh, I'm but this to... is terrible. Okay. This is so oh, good, Lord. This is bad. Um, I, I guess. That's, okay. I guess. All right. I really want to go first this turn, so hopefully I went early on 6.15. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. So I'm going to go up one. I can take up to three, but I'm just going to take this one and this one. Oh. Okay. I am going to paint this one here. So I have a wildflower, and I need one with two symbols. So I do that. One and two for this one. And I'm also going to paint this one for six points. I need three different wildflowers. I have one, two, and three, and that can be with any other number of symbols there. You had all the flowers. Yep, I was saving those. They were over there, somewhere over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was in the wrong spot. Wrong spot, unfortunately. All That's right. my turn. All right, so I'm going to move four, well, three, and I'm going to take two. Um... I will take this one and that one, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's my turn because I cannot do anything else. I cannot, I don't have anything with one single lake on it. Mm. Slackfish says, uh, Michelle, I think moving edge to edge is totally the best play. Yeah. Getting stuck in the middle of the board is bad. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, we've been yeah trying to sweep around here. But the um, flowers ended up. Well, he had a lot, and yeah. then there were a few in this area. Yep. I had no flowers. Well, I guess it didn't matter by the time it got to me. Right. Oh, what's the daily goal for this game? Uh, be the last uh, person to paint a landscape with exactly two features. Ah, that was me. Oh, that was Michelle me. gets it. There it is. <laughs> Yay! For being last. <laughs> okay, so now. We're going to have uh, one final round, I believe, right? Okay. So, replenish? Yes, replenish, please. Okay. I'll move this down. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, that one's so pretty. That's our, our sound, folks, whoop. for you that are just joining us. That's whoop. our sound for using the force. Is whoop. 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 <laughs> so, if I did this, whoop, <laughs> whoop. Oops, I did it, whoop. <laughs> That's our sound, whoop, whoop. There it is. There <laughs> it is. Okay, so discard that truck card. Okay. So, the daily goal is to be the last person to paint a landscape with exactly three features. Okay. So, I believe this is the final round. Let's see. The final round is... Okay, yeah. The game ends after day six days. Only two cards left in the deck. So, okay, yeah, this will be our final one. Okay. 
Which ones do we have to paint? This one, this one, and this one. Hmm. Hmm. No bueno. Really? Unless, let me <laughs> see, do I need this? I can get lucky, I think. Yeah, if I go this way. Okay. I am. Oh, but I don't have. I, now I see this. Now I'm almost positive you're going. Well, well, maybe. Yeah, you're probably going before me. Darn it. Alright. Ready? Um. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. I wake up at 9 45. 7.30. Darn it. Okay. Um. Oh. I can move four spaces in pretty much any direction. Yep. So I will go one, two, three, four. And wow, I, where? Oh, I can only take one? Yep. Oh, that kind of sucks. I'm going to take this one up here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was just going to note we have said two, uh, dang it or darn it 250 times during the stream, but now we're at 251. So is that like some kind of milestone that like we need is. to like celebrate? Yeah, I, don't I don't know how to celebrate. Like, yeah. what do we do? What do we I do? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, we'll let you finish your turn. We'll figure out a way to celebrate. Okay. Um, so I am going to... Oh, Cypher's got the right idea. Hashtag un achievement. Un <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I've got... Nice. Three different cards with suns and other symbols. Mm -hmm. Well done. Okay, can I do anything else? Because that would be... The... Oh, I still have no flowers. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, so I can move up to three, taking one. And I think I want it. This is, yeah. Go. <laughs> Sounds like it's time deer. for the Don it, the darn it deer. <laughs> darn it. <laughs> don it. Don it, the darn deer. Don, like it. don <laughs> <laughs> Can't even say it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do this one here. So I've got coast, sun, anything. And I have wildflower, anything. So that's there. And then what's the goal again? Be the last person to paint a landscape with exactly three features. Cha-ching. That was the last one. So and that one was three. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, so that's the end of the game. Uh, let me make sure here. Do we need do we... Yeah, we don't have to do cleanup. Game after only two cards that. Or if they're included, there are enough. Okay. Uh, so we just score the points. You have a gazillion cards. I know. I don't have a gazillion cards. And then you are going to get, so I... Oh, and then yeah. you know, these things. Yeah. Two okay. One. So that's... Ten. <laughs> Jimmy Laser, Ruel. What was the goal again? Michelle gives goal. R. Ruel. Oh, yeah. I got it. <laughs> this is 19, 20, 21, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 26. 26 total? Okay, I got 10, 22, 24, 26, 20, 31. 31, GG, good game. Wait, what was it, 26, 31? Yeah. That's, wow, oh, I thought I ran away with it. Honestly, that's actually closer than I thought. You got points off of this. Yeah. Oh, okay. you didn't have any left over. That's I didn't, fine. yeah, I spent all my cards. Oh, so, okay, so yeah. Bad. That's another strategy. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that because I was so focused on, you know, fulfilling the these goals here. Yeah, now, I did, yeah, I did uh, one, two, three, four, five commissions. You did four, but then, and I did three of the daily goals, and you did two. So it was closer than I thought. Okay. Well, GG. Um, first time player, how'd you like it? I like this game. Yeah, that's cool. I think it's a neat little, you know, light game. Again, something we really needed after all the events yesterday. But I, I like we said earlier, I feel like this would shine more at three or four players um, because this stuff would get rotated. And then more. that whole last, the going know, last thing, yeah, be the last person it, um, to end the day in a corner landscape. Oh, in the corner, yeah. So are there more of these? That that's it. I think yeah. Oh. But you always just play. There's always gonna be one left over, I believe. So it's like different every game. And the commission cards, yeah, with two players, we didn't go through as many as I thought we would. Um, but in a multiplayer game, you know, 
obviously even this would uh, go through much more. Yeah, uh, Slackfish, I agree. This would be more fun at four, yeah. And again, I like it, um, but uh, I think more players would be better. But this is perfectly fine um, as is. And I, I'm thinking, too, you could totally play this online because there's no, there's like no secret information, right? Like everything's out in the open. Yeah. Yeah, so you could, does someone have another copy? You can play online with your friends. Um, but hey, folks, that is it. Thank you all for uh, joining us. Uh, this has been Sunset Over Water. want to thank uh, Anne Maria and the team over there at Pencil First for sending this over. Much appreciated. And want to thank you all for joining us and spending part of your day here. Um, we always appreciate you. Um, thank you, Griff Dog. Thank you, Slackfish. Yeah, Soul Version is by the renowned Keith. Mid oh, yeah, Role Player. That's right. That's the one I was wondering what uh, Keith had done. Nice. So I'm going to give that a shot um, after, afterwards. Um, I don't know if we're streaming tomorrow, but I will be back on... Um, the Good Time Society with, uh, that's Becca Scott's channel here on Twitch. Um, Jake, uh, Michaels, myself, uh, Monique from Before You Play, and also Sam from Lord of the Board. We're going to be playing a little QE. So looking oh, forward fun. to that, yeah. And then Sunday, um, I'll be on a panel um, for OrcaCon. Uh, that's a, or a convention that usually happens up in Seattle, I believe, friends, um, right, every January or so. But they're doing a virtual thing, of course. And I'll be on a panel there talking about Twitch streamers. I'll be there with, um, I don't know if they've announced it yet, uh, but I will say I'll be there with a couple of, um, yeah, I don't know if they've announced it, but hint, hint, y'all that rated, that's two of the people that are going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> QA, QE can get quite insane. Yeah, we I, I love QE. I, I'm not always the biggest auction fan, but that game is, is hilarious. I, I think it's it's funny. You play that one, right? There's like yeah. no limit to what you can bid. Yeah, I think the last time we played that... No, we played it... I think we streamed that. We did, yeah, with Lauren. But I think the first time I played it was at Game House. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was so much fun. Uh, love some QE, yeah, nice. And uh, QE can get quite a say, absolutely. I know Amanda has played it as well, um, but yeah, good game. So that's Saturday. Um, do we have anything else going on? I think that's it, so... Maybe I'll sneak in a stream tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see. But um, any last words before we get out of here? Yeah, just stay safe. Yeah. yeah. Countdown's on. Yeah. Be, be safe out there, everybody. <laughs> January 20th. Yeah. Uh, practice self-care, too. I We practiced self-care today by ordering um, some really nice Filipino food, which is very delicious. Oh, yeah. yeah that was that, good. That garlic rice and pork barbecue. Oh, my gosh. So, <laughs> so yeah, practice self-care. Be well, folks. And... We will see you soon. Thanks for seeing. Good to see you too. Thank, you. thanks everybody. Uh, let's raid someone. Uh, type in. Let me know who's available to raid. I'm gonna shut this down here, but we will raid uh, right after this. And uh, thanks again, everybody. Bye. Bye.